It is E3 2017 and I'm here in the war room with Martin who brought by a game called Riverbond. What's the premise of this game? And it looks like you are spinning around <laughs> like crazy. <laughs> yes, uh, well it's uh, just fun hack and slash. You can play on your own or um, with uh, couch co-op friends. Uh, it's uh, no split screen, it's one screen. Everybody can play on the same screen, a bit like Eldiver or Diablo. Uh, you can change your skin with left and right on the D-pad. So we're going to ship the game with many different types of skin. Um, and um, also the, the, the point of uh, uh, this, uh, what we're going to play today is uh, arcade mode. So uh, it's like a little uh, raid or mission that you can do uh, in over about 10 minutes. And there's leatherboard, uh, you can compete for score. And uh, it's drop in, drop out, so you can easily um, uh, play with uh, with friends um, without uh, worrying about waiting for people. Uh, so let's say uh, I have to do something, I can easily just leave the game and come back and I'm going to keep my score and um, equipment. Cool. So where are we headed? So here is just to, uh, to get familiar with the control. We have like the power uh, dash with uh, the right bumper. Um, the right trigger is for the sword. You can aim with the right stick and shoot. Mm. Uh, shield. Shield, yes. You can uh, dodge roll. And here there's some TNT. Most of the environment can be destroyed and you can throw things around. Uh, same for the chicken. If you stun an enemy and they have a little uh, star above their head, you can grab them <laughs> and throw them in the <laughs> hole. So I wanted to try to um, also get this feeling when uh, you're playing uh, with Legos and you can just uh, wreck havoc on everything. And even if it's this nice guy, little uh, plot of land, uh, we're, supposed to, yeah, <laughs> we're supposed to be the good guy, but it doesn't seem to mind it. So here's the start of the adventure uh, okay. on this portal. So we enter the, the land of the pigs. So the evil pigs took over <laughs> and we have to uh, remove them because this used to be the land of the rabbits. <laughs> I just throw, <laughs> throw them in the hole. And we had the, the game here at three pl people playing and some people were just like spending uh, a lot of time just cutting the grass <laughs> <laughs> but it keep uh, growing back so you can just go and keep um, cutting the grass forever and we're gonna have eventually uh, random drops coming for cutting the grass because people are enjoying it too much so maybe some gems or uh, extra coins cool it is satisfying to just be able to basically destroy everything in front of you if you want to. Yes, um, and it's part of the fun. Even if uh, it doesn't necessarily advance your mission forward, uh, this kind of a fun to uh, destroying just an environment like this. And uh, we took every opportunity we had uh, to, to put a lot of those things in the game. Uh, oh, here's the gate to the cave entrance. So, uh, you find we, a key? yeah, we gotta find a key. So, there's a mini bus that uh, steal it, a, a blue pig, and is hiding in, in the windmill. Uh, so, am, what am I <laughs> right now? My oh, coin? You're, you're a happy coin, uh, and I'm kind of a Dexter thing, but I could be also be a donut uh, while I'm being killed. <laughs> so, in the when the full game releases, will you have to switch your character on the fly, or will you pick and then? Oh yeah, you can you can switch on the fly. So um, uh, we're not sure yet to bacon. lock certain yeah, bacon, bacon and donuts. Perfect combo. <laughs> um, uh, maybe we're gonna have some some special skin that are gonna be lock. Like um, I don't know. We're still open to ideas. We have uh, more than a dozen already. But people yeah. said I want to play as a cupcake, and some people are like oh I want to play as a DVD player or a cup of coffee. So we're gonna have all those silly icon and also a more serious one, like probably hamsters. Um. Hamsters <laughs> is a good one. And uh, eventually, also if you beat uh, a level, then you could use the skin of the enemy, so you could play as this little blue pig. Oh, that's pretty cool. And in terms of weapons, we are uh, having now the starting weapon, which is a, a sword uh, and the shield and, and uh, the, the gun, but we're going to have much more weapons uh, that um, we're going to find out along the journey. We're going to be able to spend the coin to buy them. Um, we're going to be able also to level them up. Some of the weapons are going to be a mix of um, like fantasy and sci-fi. So we were like, Okay, this kind of look like a fantasy game, but it would be cool to have a rocket launcher. So, okay, we don't care. We're going to put rocket launcher, fire bombs, uh, mini nukes. And up to, on top of that, of course, we're going to have oversized sword like in Final Fantasy or a Dark Soul evil club yeah. looking with spikes, uh, candy cane. So anything you can grab and just smash people with. And you said this 
it, you, I mean, this is meant for four players right now, so it's a little bit tougher at the moment. Yes, because it's been calibrated for four player for E3, but um, uh, we're gonna have a auto scaling. So depending on number number of player, then the difficulty is gonna be adjusting automatically. And also, uh, in the full story mode, uh, even if you join in a couple of hours in, um, people are gonna be able to um, level up. Um, adjust their, the level of difficulty by grabbing weapons because it's mostly uh, equipment based uh, for progression not necessarily uh, for experience point so if you kill an enemy and uh, he drops a huge weapon then you gain those ability automatically so if you're playing with somebody who's very advanced with big weapons you just gotta kill a bunch of enemies get some drop give them to you and then you're at their level more or less because uh, one thing is a base weapon but you're also gonna be able to use a skill stone to infuse your weapon and we don't want it to avoid too much grinding. So if you find those stone, um, then they, you won't lose them if you drop a weapon. They're gonna they're gonna transfer automatically to your new weapon. To uh, uh, encourage people to try different uh, weapons without really any penalties. So if you you find like a, a double yielding uh, like dagger, then you you could take it, replace it uh, from uh, from your huge sword. And if you don't like it, then you grab it back, and uh, your uh, all, the, all the point you spent uh, on your weapon is gonna be transferred. I'm getting my butt kicked. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there's a lot of pigs here, and it's just the beginning of the game. Eventually, you have like dozens and dozens of enemies filling out the screen. Uh, but of course, you need bigger weapon to get rid of them. So it's something we really like in Diablo when you reach uh, later levels and you have all these armies of people attacking you and everything just explode and get destroyed. So we're gonna have a lot of this uh, feeling. So it's a mix of bit of Diablo gauntlet. Um, and a good old uh, arcade fun like uh, Golden Axe and Double Dragon. Yeah, I definitely see the inspirations and style from those games. Yay, yeah, the last two pigs, the one in the hole. Nice. <laughs> so now we can open the cave. So this is the underground cave which lead to uh, the final boss, which is uh, the rabbit who changed side and he okay. allied with the pig and stole a huge tank to destroy all the villagers' farm. And this is when the, the game starts. This is just the first five level. We have over 150 levels in the, in, in the whole game. So plenty of uh, adventures, different worlds. Like we have uh, snow, dungeons, uh, castle, desert, swamp. Uh, all a bit the, the classic one you have like in the arcade or RPG. Yeah. And all destructible with different things. Temples, okay. they, like there's a huge temples that you, if you break the columns, everything falls. Oh, really? uh, we have secret area like this one here. You can see the wall is a bit different. Yeah. So we can destroy it. And certain type of wall, if they're made of rock, then you need a special type of bomb to open the secret areas. Uh, sometimes you need to uh, go to the shop, get this bomb, go back to the level, and then you're gonna have a special weapons uh, or other bonus in those secret area. So we wanted people to be able to uh, not only do the main, like obvious path, but also explore a bit and find uh, other things. So like in this area here, there's not a destructible wall. Um, we have coin for now, but uh, in the final version, there's a chest which give you more weapons. Uh, it's where you're gonna be able to get uh, some uh, some weapons for the, the boss fight coming up. Cool. So we're still about a um, couple of months, maybe six, eight months until we're um, we're finished. So probably September, October. But from there, we're gonna go like intense testing, close beta, okay, um, uh, localization, porting and probably looking i mean nothing is official confirmed yet but our, yeah. our aim would be hopefully to release sometime um, early 2018. oh nice oh wow i'm getting, <laughs> getting wrecked here ah. oh my god when that one is dead is a bit like in destiny it's like guardian down last guardian so you have to stay alive until the other one respawn otherwise uh, you get wiped until uh, the beginning of the level. Oh, I'm dead. Oh! Uh, <laughs> oh no. You can do it! Oh yes, I'm back. Well, I'm dead now, so it's up to you. That move's really cool. I like the, the right bumper. Yes, and also this is one of um, the first um, uh, like a special that we can equip. Uh, later special will, will be like a giant donut just smashing up and down everything. Uh, thunder that is going to be like a, this crazy storm um, filling up the screen with um, a lot of electricity and chains. 
So uh, this one is very fun, but also as you go later on, you're gonna have uh, more and more uh, power. So the idea is that toward the end of the game, when you're, you're fully equipped, uh, everything you look at it and the, the screen is just this kind of um, almost like a hallucination of colors and explosion. <laughs> okay, so here's <laughs> the oh. bus fight. So those are the, like the, the guardian of the bus. So if we go a bit further down, is is gonna trigger the bus. So maybe we want to stay do around these guys first. Yeah, do those guys first. Uh, there's also some bombs on the side we can use. And uh, like we see here, this shield uh, is not effective to block their, their blow. And even if the game at first is very easy to pick up and, uh, and play, there's a lot of depth in, in the way the weapons are going to be interacting uh, with the enemies and the environment, not only in terms of uh, being able to block a blow, but also the elemental damage, if it's fire, if it's magic, uh, if it's ice. And we got uh, a lot inspired by Dark Soul, their weapon system is so incredible. Uh, like if you have an axe, it's going to be much more effective against uh, enemies who are uh, organic, made of flesh, than people with armor, then you need to use a blunt weapon. Uh, so we, we're going to have this depth in the gameplay for the weapons. Seems like we're doing, doing alright. You're doing yes. most of the work here. <laughs> oh, i played this so many times. <laughs> um, and even then I feel like this bus could be a bit more difficult, oh, no. like adding waves of enemies. Yeah, if you get stuck in the front and he shoot at you, it stun you a bit, and you can get just hit like in a row. So the, the trick is a bit to circle it and try to not to get too close because you have this kind of um, shock if you get too close. Get some I, yeah, bomb. I noticed that I was... And we're gonna have, and again, this is the first boss. We have many bosses in the game. Um, there's a Yeti, there's a Knight. Um, there's some uh, water, one that come out from holes and, and throw weird stuff and squid at you. And um, also the environment is intractable in some level, like you have levers, switch, um, trampoline. <laughs> and uh, you can throw stuff on trampoline and everything start bouncing around. So not only cutting the grass, but there's a lot of other stuff that is a lot of fun too. Oh, I've died so many times just by walking into it. Yes, I know. It's because it feels like I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you, but if you get too close, it's, it's easy. Because you just turn around so fast and then suddenly you're, you're caught yeah. in, in the fire. But we almost have him. Yes, nice. Sweet. So that's the end of the demo we're showing at, at E3, but if you look up here like this gate, in the full game is opening up, there's a loot room with a bunch of crates and a, a reward. You can go to the shop, spend your money, and then you keep going to the next level of playing. Cool. Nice. Well, that was, that was River Bond. Thank you so much for stopping by. Yeah, um, my pleasure. Anything else you'd like to add before we wrap this up? Um, yes, uh, if you want to follow us uh, on uh, Coco Cucumber, or uh, look for Riverbond online. Um, we're gonna have uh, more news, new trailers uh, coming out later this year, and we're uh, hoping to come uh, on console and Xbox early next year. Cool, thank you so much. Thank you. For more E3 coverage, make sure to stay tuned to GameSpot. Thanks for watching. Thanks.